Just a quick plug before the video starts. Go to DrewingRider.com. If you're interested in $40 jerseys, there's a couple left that did sell out. I apologize for that. We've got more coming down the track. My two ebooks, Carb the Fuck Up and Drew Rider's Lean Body Bible. The best ebooks if you want to get seriously lean and live a seriously simple, basic digital nomad lifestyle and save a shit ton of money, earn great money, meet cool people, inspire people, and get the best results you've ever got could imagine in your life. Go to DrewRider.com, get my latest ebooks. Game changes, guaranteed. Disc brakes. Why are disc brakes slower? The truth, the bike industry won't tell you about disc brakes. Now, disc brakes are fantastic. I've got disc brake bikes, road, mountain bike. I rate them for some applications, for cross country, for gravel riding. Very, very good. In terms of high performance road, where you're going for every second on the climb, I don't rate disc brakes, and there's no professional cyclists out there that I've ever talked to, and I've ridden a lot, who rates disc brakes as a, you know, a full race bike. Now, people might say, oh, but the, a lot of riders, they're riding disc brake bikes, you know, you're wrong, Harley. It's like, well, these days in 2019, a lot of teams don't have a choice. The riders don't have a choice. They have no choice of what they can ride in terms of disc or non-disc. You know, that's not all teams yet, but a lot of teams, they're pushing disc brakes on their, on their riders, so they don't have a choice. So... As a consumer, it's like, oh, it must be a better option, but it's, it's not. And you see in this video that we'll play it again, that uh, we'll play it a few times actually. You can see that how light, you know, people are on the pedals. The disc brake bike's a bit heavier, and the, the rim brake, people are a bit lighter on the pedals there, aren't they? It seems like just that different vibe. There's a different vibe going on there. Um, disc brakes definitely are heavy. They rub. They definitely rub. You know, there's no one out there who who's ridden a disc brake bike and paid attention. You know, not on five to milligrams of caffeine or whatever, but paying attention. A lot of people use so much, drink so much coffee, they can't hear shit in their, on their bike at all. They're just like, oh, 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 it's all good, mate, it's all good. Stop using stimulants just for a day, just so you can listen and focus on what noises your bike's making. Man, some people, some people take so much stims, they can't even hear what's going on. They're just like, all, all in a blur. So just, that's what you want to do, is have no stims and pay attention to what's going on in your bike, and you will hear the road the road is rubbing the pads grinding at some point it's how it is just the design this is a design and you know i've got disc brake bikes been using discs for hmm how many years now 13 years on cross country and about f four years on road and i can tell you that they, they, they do rub they when you put a different wheel in they rub around they, they're not as user friendly you know as a as your rim brake is rim, rim brake's so much user friendly so much more user friendly now you do have advantages with disc brakes in the wet. Um, you know, for for most riders, disc brakes definitely fantastic. If I was, if I was a bike courier, I'd probably run disc brakes. But otherwise, for high performance road racing, they're a disadvantage. They're definitely a disadvantage. Slow wheel changes, but more more so the if you do get a wheel change, now your road is going to be rubbing. You know, and I'm sure there'll be some hack around that, but they definitely they definitely rub. They definitely rub. So it hasn't been sorted yet. Anyway, that's my critique on it. A lot of people won't like that. Um, but again, this is, you, know, you come here, here, here doing riders' opinion experiences. I've been riding bikes for a long time. Got my first road bike in 1997. Bought it. I bought my first road bike. It was an Avanti Corsa. I worked one month night shift in a factory to get that bike. Eight-speed Ultegra 600. So that's just the deal there. Disc brakes. There. Will I ever buy a disc brake bike again? Probably not. You know, unless I was living in a wet city as a bike messenger or some some weird situation like that but if i'm talking pure performance if i'm going for pure performance for road discs eh, 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 not at all